the big CNBC TV 18 news break at this hour. The finance ministry is gearing up for a bold budget this time around. The ministry has given those signals to the bankers who met with the North Block officials today. Sapna Das, who was tracking that meeting, is here with exclusive details. Uh, Sapna, what are your sources telling you? What transpired in that meeting? And any numbers that we can finally take away which will help throw some clarity? Well, not specifically that much in terms of numbers, but definitely the signal from North Lock uh, apparently as of now is very clear in terms of the upcoming budget. Uh, government has indicated to uh, the bankers which have met them in the pre-budget meeting, uh, basically the indications are that the coming budget uh, could be bold as well as unconventional. However, uh, this statement is being balanced uh, by another statement which basically indicates that uh, fiscal policy will have to be balanced with spending. Uh, that could possibly also indicate that, um, uh, you know, probably in terms of uh, uh, tax incentives, uh, don't expect something extremely huge or dramatic or probably out of the way. Uh, but, you know, some tinkering may be possible. Quickly moving on from here, let's uh, understand what the RBI has specifically raised and this is what we understand from our sources as of now. Uh, RBI has basically indicated to the government that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the tax provisioning or rather the tax incentives for NPA provisioning, that should be made 100%. There's a various range right now that's available for the NBFC sector and for the banks, but they should be raised to up to 100%. That's an important demand coming from the Reserve Bank of India. The regulator simultaneously has also pushed for the raising of the 1.5 lakh uh, ATC savings basket. Uh, this is something that the government had done way back in 2014. Uh, so this could be very much on the cards in terms of what else we can expect in direct taxes for the for the common consumer in the coming budget. Uh, moving on from there, what is it specifically that bankers wanted to know, basically, uh, or rather wanted to have from the government? Uh, A, in terms of the demonetization window, the relaxation the relaxation given by RBI in terms of classification of a standard asset that may become a NPA. Well, the earlier circular had said 60-day window. Everybody across the board has asked for an extension of the 60-day window, uh, particularly the NBFC sector has said that this should be extended right up till the end of the financial year. Also, uh, you know, prominent banks have asked for uh, uh, strong tax in incentives to promote digital payments by consumers as well as retailers. Also, in terms of the TDS uh, limit uh, that's there, the 10,000 rupees and above, in terms of the fixed deposit interest, this should be raised from, raised from 10,000 to 50,000. Some of the bankers have raised that uh, demand in terms of, especially for senior citizens, because they are the guys who have lots of such fixed deposits after, especially after retirement. Apart from this, uh, a couple of bankers yeah. have raised this important point uh, that hmm. uh, probably the government should give some kind of assurance uh, to indicate that the withdrawal limits uh, will actually be relaxed completely uh, post-December 30. All right, Sapna, thanks for joining in. And